action. Okay, guys, so I have a problem here from chapter 24. It's problem number 16 from chapter 24. And I uh, just wanted to walk through what the, uh, the two proportion, uh, I'm sorry, not two proportion, the two sample T test is gonna look like once again. Um, so, oh, sorry, just wanted to read the question real quick. Uh, it says that uh, they've collected uh, data from different towns, both north and south. Wait a minute, I'm doing a video. Thank you. Um, for both north and south of Derby, and uh, it's the mortality rate. And when you look at the numbers, uh, it sure looks like the mortality rate from north of Derby is greater than the mortality rate south of Derby. Uh, but they want us to, uh, Part A says, um, to do a test and appropriate hypothesis. And the question said, is there a significant difference in mortality rates? Difference. Not greater than or less than, but difference. So uh, we assume that they're equal to each other, but we are going to see if they're different from each other. Uh, always got to define your variables. In this case, I have two variables to define, so I define both of those. Let mu sub n be the mean mortality rate north of Derby, and then mu sub s south of Derby. I will use a one sample t test. I'm sorry, that's a two. That's a two. Two sample t test um, uh, with an alpha of 5%. And here's the key reason why I'm doing a two sample t test is that independent groups, the groups are independent from each other. These two, the towns north of Derby and the towns south of Derby aren't influencing each other. So they are independent from one another. So that is why it is a two sample t-test and not a paired t-test. Um, random, uh, not say the random, but I believe samples, both samples, to be representative. 34 is most likely less than 10% of all the towns north of Derby. Uh, 27 is most likely less than 10% of all towns south of Derby. We don't know for sure, so that's why we say most likely. And then uh, both sample, oh, I put sample, but I should say samples. Both samples uh, have a distribution that appears approximately normal. And I want to show you why I know that because they gave me the box plots. Good job for zooming in on there, hey Jay. Uh, they gave me both the box plots and both those box plots, while, while um, I can't totally know what the true shape looks like, because it might be bimodal, I don't know for sure, um, it's good enough for me to keep going. Plus, 34 is greater than 30, and uh, that's okay, and 27 is pretty close to 30, so we're good. The calculator we use for mechanics, uh, they gave us statistics, not data, so I plug all that stuff into the two sample T test. Uh, I get a degree of freedom of 53, uh, T of six. So that is a huge T score, right? Six, right? Um, which means with a large T score, I have a very small P value. Um, so super small, since my P value was under my alpha, I will reject the null. There is sufficient evidence to show that the mean mortality rate north of Derby is not equal to the mortality rate south of Derby. And the uh, one other thing that uh, they have here is uh, it, part B says, the box plots of the two distributions show an outlier among the north of Derby. What effects might that have on your test? So you can see the, the outlier right there. So uh, what, what does an outlier do? How is that gonna cause a problem? Well. Um, outliers, if you remember, don't affect medians, but they do affect means. They increase the mean. So that mean that was so much bigger for north of Derby um, might be so much bigger because of that outlier. And so the, the, the question that, well, that answers that question, but really what we would want to say to ourselves is, if that outlier wasn't there, would we still have come to the same conclusion? And so if this was, you know, real life, we would definitely toss that outlier out, run the test again to see if we come to the same conclusion. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if we would or if we wouldn't, um, but that's something that we want to do. But what is, that, what is that affecting? It's affecting the mean, okay? And it's also affecting the standard deviation because it's causing more spread and more spread increases the standard deviation. So uh, it, really, it really screws things up as far as our test goes. But we can't ignore it. Just because an outlier doesn't mean it's not part of the data set. Okay, I have a request for a problem from chapter 25. 
uh, the one about baseball uh, or the pitching. And so I'll get a video on that, explaining that one. It's a really good problem. And I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you. I love you. But I'm not in love with you. And Hayden, what do we always do? Do the right thing. We do the right thing. Thanks.